Hey my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video I want to share with you something really interesting and this is how you can actually improve your page score or your website speed in just three steps and this is all for free. I'm not kidding you. This is for free and you will be able to do it in just three simple steps. Now let me just show you something. This is my personal website where I share tutorials and how to's and all that stuff. Actually I have even my YouTube videos linked over right here and I have several pages on this website for example. I have my about page here. I have my the contact page the newsletter sign up form and all that stuff. Then I also have the blog posts over here or the blog archive pages. I also have like long form content on this website. Like this is like a 5,000 plus word tutorial on how to create a landing page using Elementor. Hey, if you actually want to check this out, I'll leave a link right down in the description of this video. But all this is content on my website. And if I go right inside my dashboard of this website, uh, so under the posts area, you see that I have over 200 posts that have been published on this website. And if I go to the media library, media library, where are you here? I have over 800 plus images or media that has been uploaded to this website. Now, what I did was to make a copy of my website to a new domain where it is seated right now. So I removed all the other optimizations that I had done initially on this website. Now I simply have like a bare bones website. What do I mean by that? Nothing to do with caching, nothing to do with page optimization. All I have is simply the plugins that are running this website, just like you see over right here. The question is how can I improve this website from a page score of, for example, here on the mobile, I have 58% and I'm not even passing the core web virtuals and on desktop I am having 86% and I'm still not passing all the core web virtuals. Now how do I improve this from these results to these results where I'm actually having on mobile 97% and I'm passing all the core web virtuals and I have on the desktop 98% page score and I'm still also passing all the core web virtuals and how, how am I able to do this? How am I able to achieve this in just three simple steps and all for free? Now, before you actually go away, before you run away, let, let, me, let me show you, let me show you what we have to do. On the same website, under the plugins area, just go straight and say, add a new plugin. In this case, if it's for your website, and here you're going to search for 10 web booster. This is a free plugin that has just been released. It is just new on the market and I want you to go and check it out. Try it out on a demo site of yours and try to test out things and see whether you will actually see a change. Now what I'm going to do is say install. Once I'm done installing, activate. So as this is activating, let me show you what this 10 web booster plugin is going to be doing on your website. This is the plugins page on the WordPress repository. And when you look it up, the 10 web booster, this is what they are promising. Automated 90 plus page speed scores. Optimize core web virtuals. I mean, you're actually going to pass the core web virtuals. The core web virtuals are like the rules that Google is looking into if they are going to index your website. If you pass those, then it means that, hey, your website is having a green light. Then they also tell you like you'll actually get higher search rankings. Obviously, if you have good page scores, then Google is going to be pushing up your website in the search engine result pages and then all these other benefits. But what really stood out for me, leave alone the CSS and HTML minification, JS minification, because literally every other WordPress plugin in the repository is going to promise you this. But this is what really stood out for me. Down below here, these three features. There is the image lazy load, the font swap, and the conversion of images to the image WebP format, all for free. I mean, who the hell gives you all those features all for free? Because most of the plugins that I know that would actually help you to serve WebP images on your website, they're doing this for a fee. And here they are giving it for free. And also this feature of the font swap, I mean, they are going to basically show a generic font as the website is loading. And that actually is going to enable you to hack the Google Core virtuals, but then also enabling your website visitor to see the results before the page is actually loaded. Anyway, let's go back to our plugins area. So 
we have our plugin activated now what you're going to say is go to settings and under settings now what you're going to do is to sign up and connect your website to the 10 web infrastructure by 10 web infrastructure what i mean is that you are going to connect your website to their website and this website is going to do all the magic for you so what you're going to do here is say sign up and connect do once you are done you will be redirected straight to this home page so it takes a couple of minutes maybe three to five minutes to analyze your current score and then optimizing your front end because in this free version of the 10 web booster you are only getting the home page optimized and other pages other five pages optimized for your website that is one then your images will also be optimized and then also your website will be cached among all other features like you saw on the plugins repository page now that we are finished syncing our website to the 10 web infrastructure this is what they are telling us this was our original score on the desktop it was 93 percent and load time was 1.4 seconds and this is only for the home page performance please i want you to get me right on that and then for the mobile score we had 70 percent as the page speed score and the load time was 6.6 percent i mean this was the website before anything was done now once i installed and connected the 10 web booster plugin this is what i'm seeing for the optimized score on the desktop i'm having 97 percent and it's loading in 0.4 seconds. I mean, it's loading in 0.4 seconds. <laughs> this is amazing. This is amazing. And for the mobile score, I'm having 96% and the load time is 2.3 seconds. Still, I am below the three seconds mark for me to pass the core web virtuals. Good. So if you want to still prove these results, you can still go to uh, the page speed score website uh, from Google and then test out all these results using your domain name and, and check it out. And I promise you it will look more like the same. So anyway, and here I am for the, for the mobile scores, I'm having 97% and that's not any different from what I'm seeing here for the optimized mobile score, which is 96%. And I'm passing all the core web virtuals, which is uh, the FCP, LCP, and the CLS. That aside, let me look into the desktop. I'm having 98% as the page speed score. Now, let me see here on the optimized, I'm having 97%. Actually, here they are showing me lesser results than, than what I'm seeing on the Google page speed test tool. How? Anyway back over here looking into the core web virtuals i'm also passing them and here actually the speed index looks good but when you look here on the mobile the speed index doesn't look so convincing but i'm telling you if you are passing the core web virtuals that is already good for you because hey you are having content displayed you are having your images lazy loading you're having a, a font swap literally you are serving web images this means that your website visitor will be able to see content as fast as your website loads up anyway now back over here one thing i have to mention is that this was only the front end optimization of your website and what do i mean by that so what the 10 web booster plugin did was basically to optimize the front end of your website optimizing the images caching your website minifying the js the css and all that stuff but one thing is left out and that is the back end optimization that is things to do with the server performance wordpress performance your php and a lot more and i have to tell you that if i really wanted to improve my results even further I would get a better server because right now this website that you see here is hosted on a shared server and that's why i simply moved all my website files for this tutorial but if i would want a better performance obviously i would get a better server and obviously my website performance would skyrocket because i'm having a faster server and faster response times and all that stuff so meaning that in case you want to further improve your website performance you would get a better server or a better host or you could simply move your website fully to the 10 web infrastructure because they also offer hosting and take care of all these other technicalities. So anyway, in a nutshell, that's all I had for you in this video. If you want to take your website performance to the next level, then I think you should check out the 10 web booster plugin. And I have to mention that you can optimize home pages of up to 10 websites plus five inner pages each and have them optimized for free 
that is only the front end optimization and if you think that you would want to get the pro version of the 10 website booster plugin without having to move your website to their platform then you could do this you could get the pro version of this plugin i'll leave a link down in the description of this video so once you get the pro version of this plugin then you are able to even further optimize your back end of your website even when you are on a shared host though i wouldn't recommend so but what i'm trying to say is that you can further improve the performance of your website from even these results that you think are already good to even better results anyway that has it been all for now if you have any questions or if you think this video brought you any value let me down in the comment box below and also if you have any suggestions or you like the video please just make sure you give it a like if you are new to the channel make sure that you subscribe and i'll see you in the next video